the meat to get this part off and it should just all pull hey what's up guys so I'm gonna replace the weather strip on my BMW I have my pry tool mallet the new weather strip that I'm gonna put in there and the mallet taps the new one in also to replace to remove the old one I'm gonna have pliers to pull up some pieces and some rubbing alcohol to clean everything now my rubbing alcohol with a, um, a microfiber cloth just to wipe it down before putting the new one on there all right guys let's get started a month ago i replaced my wiper blades that while i was replacing them i realized this weather strip going across the top of the car was basically like chipping away um i'm not even going to tell you what the dealer wants to replace that so and it's a fairly new car and i'm surprised that that is wearing away um parked next to my car is a really old car over there and that guy weather strip is not it's all intact. But for some reason on my car, and that's like a, that's probably a 25 year old car. My car is about maybe eight years old. And this is already happening. So I don't really like that. So dealership wanted a lot of money to replace that. So what I did, what I did was went out, ordered my own part. And I'm going to go ahead and just replace that. But that's showing you guys what it looks like. So I have my basic pry tool. I'm going to start by prying up the corner here. And this is going to flake away as I pry. So. So just to show you guys what I'm dealing with. There's a piece of metal or aluminum in there and the rubber seems to be like just, I guess glued onto that. That seems to be what the rubber is attached to. So I'm pulling this up. It should come up with a yank. Hey guys, so what worked was getting a pry tool like this, a pick. And I pried from, I pried from on the meat to get this part off, and it should just all pull. Camera's having a hard time focusing. It's that bright metallic pink color, and give you guys an idea of how that looks like. Hey guys, so I sped up parts of this video so you won't see me doing um, a boring task of pulling out the weather strip. Uh, you will have to get to the other end of the car to pull from that side if you start from the driver's side. Um, and I'm realizing some of this is glued on to the paint of the car. The rubber part is, there's a metal strip that goes deep in the channel, but the rubber strip that you actually see is um, partially glued or taped on to the paint. So it, if it's been on there a long time like it is in this car, it's going to be very brittle. Um, it's gonna come apart in pieces as you see here. So what's happening here is so, uh, the upper part of the rubber is What it is initially it's taped on with, there, like but the tape is so old it just becomes like a Almost like a glue like, a, like you're scraping it off or something and, just uh, it and I'm gonna just have to get something to scrape that off. I ended up using my wife's ruler and See there. I'm just going right through it Like that to get that off Here's another angle and that made the work a lot easy, very easy. The problem with this is because my thing was so brittle, it just flaked right into the channel and you do not want that. So what I will have to do is uh, go in there and pick all those pieces out that you see that's fallen into that channel because the new strip will actually go into that channel 
and it's very important that that channel that goes across the top of your car is free when you put in a new one in or the new one would not sit right it's a very tight space for the new strip to go in i'm actually recording this after doing the work so i can i'm speaking um retroactively kind of so i'm going in there uh, i have my tweezers you will need tweezers to do this um be sure not to scratch your paint and uh, this took me a while to do so me about maybe 20 30 minutes to get all the black pieces out my my car, my strip was really brittle and i think once you see your strip is cracking just replace it right away there's a lot of dust in the channel that you will have to clean out as well um so it's just dust from the environment and more things to pick out like i said it took me about 30 minutes to do that and it's so many little bits you have to get them all out <clears throat> the old weather weather strip is finally off the car you can see there the rubber bit and the metal strip that goes in the channel is this thing here and that strip that rubber part is um, glued onto that or taped onto that I can't really tell it's just so old uh, you're gonna need your handy back because inside the channel is gonna be a lot of dust from the environment especially if the strip was brittle and it's been sitting there for a long time so I handy backed it this took about maybe 10 minutes I used the ruler to just uh, agitate the dust up and the dust spills over onto the paint on the, on the roof and the windshield so just use the rubber and alcohol just clean all the dust there's gonna be a lot of dust in there <clears throat> and just use rubber and alcohol and what I noticed whilst doing this, once you get the dust out of the way, you notice there's still a lot of um, residue of the glue or that tape um, that tapes the rubber bit onto the roof of the car. Um, to get all the dust out, that channel has to be very clear. You have to see the paint underneath the dust. <clears throat> I use my pry tool and a terry cloth. Don't worry about scratching that bit. That bit will be covered by the rubber weather strip. So, you know, don't worry about scratching that bit too much. So you see here, I'm almost done. You can see the blue in the channel where the new strip is gonna go. You can see right there, you can see the blue paint. That's what you wanna see. You don't want any dust in there whatsoever. So I'm actually using my rubbing alcohol as sort of a cleaning solution too. All right, and time to put the new strip on. Like I said, I'm speeding this up so it looks kinda awkward. Um, it's really cold this day. I actually did this DIY in I think April, early April, right when we went to, into quarantine. I might, you know what? It might have been March. It was the week after quarantine started, March 13th, and now it's July 4th weekend. I'm actually recording the audio for this um, video. So it's very important when you um, you have to get that whole thing in the channel first before you re remove the. It's a 3M double-sided tape that's going to be on your new strip. You do not want to take that off until, and the tape is going to be on the roof side of the um of the car here so just you have to get that whole thing in the channel and it has to be seated in the channel like it's already on the car and then you um, pull the tape free from from the rubber part the tape is on the rubber part there's gonna be like a like a metal part i'm pushing in right now so i'm pushing that metal aluminum part in here's another angle that tape you do not want to take that off until the metal part is seated into the channel i'm not sure if the strip you get will have a metal or like a firm piece make sure the corners are tucked in you're going to start on one side do not kind of go back and forth because what will happen you have like a big kind of air bubble best way to say in the middle so just start on one side and just go straight across to the other side. What I did was I initially I started on both sides to get the, the corners in. And then I realized the middle had like a hump. So you want to stretch it out over the windshield. Oh, I'm not sure how to safe light guys do this when they replace windshields. This is crazy. But I, I said I think these cars are over engineered for these trips. Um, so I went back and did this actually again. I started from my driver's side and I'm just pushing it in all the way down to the passenger side and you'll see what happens in a minute um, when you do this <clears throat> um, I ordered my strip from ECS tuning but for some weird reason you'll see in a minute my strip was a little extra long so I had a lot of little a lot of pieces left over so I kind of had to seat it in use your mallet carefully you'll see why in a minute um, mallet in on the 
paint side, not on the windshield side. Um, what you might want to do is put a towel where my, my dental pick is, prevent from breaking your glass. Because even if you have a soft mallet, these windshields, and this day was particularly cold as well, I find cold weather and windshields don't mix well. Um, I've broken a couple windshields in my previous cars and it's always been cold weather. <clears throat> so I have some um, electrical tape there to prevent them. Um, so now it's seated in. And now you want to make sure it's seated. Like you see how it is smooth. There's no gaps. I'm just going to go right in and just pull that tape off. Just like unwrapping a Christmas gift. Yep. So I'm ripping it off. If you're my height, I'm 5 foot 8 inches tall. I can't reach all the way across. So I will at some point have to go around. So just keep that in mind. Keep pushing in. Make sure that um, tape is sealed on the paint of the car. So I had to go around to do the passenger side of the car and that should be it and you just smooth it out with your finger and you're done this is pretty much the whole DIY and just make sure the corners are tucked in it might be different on different cars the way these tuck into the corners but this is it I see here I cracked my windshield with the mallet I wasn't careful I was getting frustrated getting that corner tucked in it was not tucking in and <laughs> I went, I slipped. Uh, normally if you use the mallet, it shouldn't happen, but it's my fault. I slipped and just it just went square on the glass and it cracked. And that's it, guys. I am done. Um, my crack is weird because I can't see from inside the windshield. It's actually on the black part, which is the, the froster part. And right now, at that time, we're under quarantine, so there's no way I was going to get this fixed at the dealership. Uh, and I'm not, I'm not, I don't really like safe light, but... Um, crack your windshield insurance covers that but this is it guys you're done it's that easy to do um, parts are like $20 for a new strip basic household tools and get this put easily put in your car and that's it guys um, thanks for watching more videos more BMW stuff is coming up um, for the summer it's 4th of July weekend have a good year guys see you guys in the next